So I was talking about what are those factors. So the first thing that we need to take into consideration while building a server is an operating system, the CPU, the computation part, RAM, storage, graphics, and multi more many things that can add value to your server. So while we are building our EC2 instance, we have already selected an AMI image of an operating system. The next factor is CPU and memory. To select the CPU and memory totally depends on the requirement coming from the client. So AWS gives us a privilege of selecting the type of instance. We have got total of 10 to 11 types of EC2 instance that can be built. DIRT, MCG, FPEX are different types. You can see the type T2 Nano, T2 Micro, T2 Small. These are the version upgrades that we get in different types of EC2 instances that we're building. Per type of instance defines the number of CPU and memory that would be allocated. So right now I am proceeding with T2 Micro because it's all for demonstration purpose and it would be giving me one CPU and one GB of RAM. Moving into the configuration part. So how many number of instances do we want? We want only one instance purchasing option. We would not be proceeding with spot instance because there is no guarantee that instance would be created right away. So we are proceeding with on demand service. That means the moment you want, the instance will get created. Network VPC by default, our AWS account gives us every region. We get one VPC to create different services. Per VPC, there are different subnets created. So what is VPC? It's a virtual private cloud. And what are subnets? These are the small units of VPC, which provides you the IP range where the system would get created. The public IP in usual scenario in on-premise infrastructure, public IP needs to be purchased and allocated to the system. However, this is to be fully managed by AWS. Hence, use subnet setting has been selected. Capacity reservation has to be open so that, as I said, it's Elastic Compute Cloud. There has to be an elasticity open for our EC2 instance. IAM, IAM role, that means identity access management role, would be the stuff that would delegate on behalf of EC2 to access other services. Right now, we have not created any IAM role. We would not be selecting anything for it. Shutdown behavior, that means... If in case we shut down the server, what should happen to the services? Will it be stopped or terminated? We have both the options. I would proceed with stop as I feel that we should not be enabling termina termination immediately. We would be terminating it manually as in required. Enhanced monitoring would not be enabled for EC2 right now. If we, in case we require, we have to click on enable. Termination protection. Usually this is used in real-time scenarios so that no one makes a human error and terminate the instance mistakenly. And tenancy means shared. That means do you want a dedicated tenancy or a shared? We would proceed to dedicate uh, shared as dedicated would quite be quite expensive. Selecting storage. So we have already got CPU, OS, network configuration, RAM. Now the next one is root storage. We are getting an SSD type 8 GB of storage by default. SSD means solid state drive. We are by default, since it's Linux, it will start with 8 GB of storage. In our on premise infrastructure, we usually have disk and tapes. Here we are getting an option of SSD, IOPS SSD, and magnetic tapes. Add tag, providing name to the EC2 instances. So we would proceed with EC2 Linux. Securing security provision through security groups. That means what are the level of security or layers of security that we provide to EC2 instance. So this section shows us how to configure firewall for our EC2. SSH by default has been opened for our EC2 Linux because it enables the remote connectivity. We are building a remote server. Obviously, the port needs to be opened. Port number 22 using protocol TCP has been opened. I'm configuring it from custom to anywhere. Custom means you are defining an IP range. That means only that IP range servers or clients can connect to this machine. If I do anywhere, I'm basically pushing it into public cloud. As per the requirement,